Hello, Taylor here. Welcome. Thank you for showing up and clicking play. I am here for a resin reveal today. Unfortunately, my natural light is hidden, so we're going to use something else. It's going to be very bright and annoying. Resin reveal. Now, these are kind of neat. I got this off of, of course, Amazon, for better or for worse. We're not going there. It's like a little notebook cover. It's only been 12 hours. No, not even 12 hours. It's been 10 and a half hours since I poured these. So it's a little early to um, take them off. However, if I take them off now, if I oh, take them out, I can do a lot of trimming and it'll be a little bit tidier and less sanding later. So here's the big reveal. Alcohol ink, resin. Ooh, these come off really nice. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, what's it going to look like? This is the first time I've use this mold. <clears throat> wow, pretty tricky. Now you notice there are a lot some imperfections. So that must have been dust in the mold or something going on there. I don't know. Can you see those really cool colors? Focus. The light's too bright. The light's not bright enough. I'm going to have to show you another way, I suppose. So it's really bendy, so if you really wanted to, you could make this into anything. And you could probably, you know, you can bend this and go, woo, stitch it up, make a pen holder, whatever you wanted. And it, right now, will go back. Now, if you put it in a warm, non-humid, humid, non-humid, <laughs> non-humid place, a warm, dry place, area, it will cure all that much faster. Because that's what resin does. It looks like I might have to actually poke out that hole because it's not completely open. I'm really bummed about the lighting here. I'm really bumming my trip. I am not going to lie. Okay, um, so I didn't use much white. Obviously, this came out really dark, and I think I actually should have... Well, I'm out of white, so I made my own white and didn't use much of it. And I used some iridescent color shift pigment or powders. Okay, here's another one. This one I was my leftover, so it's not very deep for a Petri dish. But it just rolls right out. And this is a cake or, or chocolate mold I got. Got a little flashing there. So this is the back. Oh, huh. and that's the front again. Yeah, it was my leftovers. So once I uh, clear coat this, all of that color will pop and you'll actually be able to see the layers and the textures. So there you go. So it looks like I'm on a really dark theme. Dark and depressing times require... Oh, actually, there's nothing depressing about right now. Ah, so that's something to know. The alcohol ink isn't completely dry yet. Oh, this did not drop through at all. So that having a really, ouch, good white is really critical to getting the drop through. So white is the key. It was 72 degrees and there wasn't a lot of humidity. Ah, bummer. Still cool, but mm, not as cool as I was expecting. So that's kind of a bummer. I'll flatten it out. <clears throat> that means the rocks probably don't have any drop through either. But everything... <laughs> don't you love how I fell for you? I fell for you, so you don't have to. Yeah, cool, but bummed. Okay, these will probably be the same. Oh, no, these have a little bit more fall through because the pigment, the white pigment I used, I don't know if you can see any of that, did actually push some ink down. So that's why you add the white alcohol ink is for that weight of that white pigment, just like in acrylic pouring. So there's a takeaway there. Boy, my bird is really screaming his head off. So this one will be pretty cool. Again, not a lot of drop through, not a lot of sinking. The alcohol ink mostly just floated on top this time. And I know that I've got my temperature, humidity, and everything in line for doing resin. So that's interesting. And here we've got another one. That one came out a little, wee bit better. Can you see? Yeah, the focus, it's hard to focus when you're trying to focus on fuzz. So that's why the focus scene is kind of weird. So you can see there's some visual interest in there, and that I did put, and I actually swirled inside trying to get the ink down because I didn't know if it was sinking or not. That one's going to be pretty cool when I clear coat it. This one will be very interesting as well, I think. 
focus, focus, focus. So, ah, I will probably post pictures on my Instagram at R-H-Y-S underscore studios. So you can see the final results there. That one will look cool. This one's all right. <clears throat> Oops. Oh. And remember, the ink side sometimes will stick to surfaces, so make sure you're careful as to where you place them while they cure, because the inks remain open a lot longer than the resin. There was a bubble, so I've got a dent there. So be aware. Focus. So thank you for dropping by. It was five minutes, almost six minutes of your life, and I appreciate it. This one will be cool when it's clear-coated. And have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, be brave, I don't know. <laughs> and have a great day. Go do something new, go do something different, and I'll be pouring paint again real soon.